Hello, welcome to my channel Tell Talks from a Short Lady. In this video on technical writing, I'm going to be talking about how we can expand definitions and make them more concrete. Now, there are seven ways to more concrete definitions. The first one is by allocating the term to a class. The second way is by describing the form or the look of the term word. The third way is by referring back to the etymology or the root word of the term. The fourth way is by going from general to specific definition. The fifth way is by adding synonyms. The sixth way is by comparing and contrasting. And the last way is by adding examples. Moving to the first way is allocating the term to a class. A barometer is an instrument. This is where we allocate the barometer to the class for measuring atmospheric pressure used in weather forecasting and in determining elevation. The second way is by describing the form of the term. Try describing a tube light and you will see that the generic definition of a tube light is very similar to that of an electric bulb. Hence, at times, it is necessary to refer to the look or the form of the term that is being defined. So I'll just go ahead and read part of the definition. An electric bulb is a home appliance that emits visible light. It consists of a hollow transparent glass globe. Now this is where we're trying to differentiate the electric bulb from the tube light by referring to the globe shape of the bulb. The next one is by referring back to the root word or the etymology. Now, many of the English words are borrowed from other languages, especially scientific words. So let us have a look. Thermometer is derived from the Greek term, which means heat, and metron meaning measure. An instrument that measures temperature, often through the use of a confined substance, such as mercury, the volume of which changes with a change in temperature. Now, because there are a lot of borrowed words in English, I have gone ahead and given a list of commonly used root words in the technical arena. You can have a look at it at your leisure. The fourth one is by taking your definition from a generic one to a more specified one. So you can start with the generic definition of a thermometer and then you can segregate it into the different types of thermometers and make it more specific. So I'll just read out two of the basic type of thermometers are clinical thermometer. This is used to determine body temperature, whereas the electrical thermometer, it's a resistance thermometer, which measures temperatures between minus 200 and 500 degrees centigrade and is based on the increase in resistance with increase in temperature. The fifth way is by adding synonyms. Sometimes when you talk to a doctor, you will realize that they are using terms which might not be understood by laypersons. So instead of using jargon, you can replace it with easily understood synonyms. Here is an example. Patients who experience shortness of breath or chest pain, now this entire thing in yellow is actually referred to as angina in medical terms. At least a month before their first heart attack, have an elevated risk of dying from a second heart attack. Moving to the sixth way is by comparing and contrasting. I'm taking the example of a fan. First, I will start with the generic definition and then I'll move on to comparison. A fan is an electric appliance used to produce drafts of cooling air by the help of horizontal rotating blades attached to a central motor. A ceiling fan is hung from the ceiling of a room, whereas table fans are portable and can be placed on a table or on the floor. So using the word whereas, we are able to compare and contrast the ceiling fan and the table fan. Moving on to the last way of making our definitions more concrete is by adding examples. I will continue with the example of the fan. Now. Fixed electrical fans, like the ceiling fan, can only create cooling drops in a fixed direction. Fans with 180-degree rotating heads 
like the table fan, have better coverage and their positions can also be changed according to the need. So by using the word like, we are giving examples of the fixed spine and the ones with rotating heads. So with that, I come to the end of this video. For more videos on this topic, please refer to the description box below. In the name of my channel is Doll Talks from a Shop Lady. And with that, I will say thank you and bye.